I don't hear the groaning anymore. <laughs> I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this anymore. I really don't. What's going on, everybody? I am the Game Salmon, and welcome to A Shadow Over Freddy's. This game literally just dropped today, so I'm not 100% sure what we're dealing with, but the developer says that this game has a lot of unique free roam aspects that no other Five Nights at Freddy's game has attempted, but also still maintains the integrity of the FNAF spirit. All right, you dumb old animatronics, let's do this. You wake up in a small dark room, laying down on a cold checkered floor with your back against a wall, feeling like hell. Your mouth tastes like copper and there's nothing to hear but the low buzz of a metal fan. I'm assuming that we're in the office, right? Oh, I can click it. Gradually, your eyes begin to open, muscles trembling as they try to stretch and contract. Your memory is foggy and your head throbs, failing to recall any information that might shed light on your current situation. Your body reacts faster than your brain, picking itself up off the floor using a desk nearby. You grab a light source and begin to look around to regain your bearings. A lifeless hulk of a building reveals itself to you through the cone of a flashlight. Dust and cobwebs lining every corner, crumbled up papers, cups and black stains covering the floor, drips of water seeping through the rotten wooden ceiling. The layout is familiar to you, but its walls aren't nearly as inviting or friendly. Your chest feels heavy with dread, much like a man to be hung in the gallows. The first coherent thought that enters your head urges you to leave as soon as possible. Leave immediately before the shadows that have devoured this abandoned building come to consume you as well. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It's great to have you back home. Five nights remain. Unless there's like a hidden sixth night. I saw that there was a custom night that's not accessible yet in the menu. So we'll just have to see. What are we dealing with? What do we got? Oh, good lord. These instructions will appear every night before going out into the restaurant. Click on them to continue. Move your cursor to aim the flashlight at areas of interest pointing towards a side of the screen will rotate the camera. Left click on an open path to move into adjacent rooms. A hostile presence is watching. Complete your objectives before 6 a.m. or you will be attacked. Wonderful. What's my objective? Other than just leave. Is there anything here that I can like have? Can I have the cupcake? No? Alright, let's start moving around the building. This is interesting. Interesting point-and-click style. Night one, find the exit. Alright. That's... That's pretty easy. I should know where the exit is, right? So I, I know the general layout of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's... Let's, um... Let's try not to die here. Oh god, I really feel like something's gonna jump out. But we're okay. I hear someone using the bathroom. We okay? I kinda do- I kinda don't wanna look around. Ah! What?! Is something after me?! This is kind of a slow-moving game, but what happens when uh, when they're ready to actually attack me? That's what I'm worried about. I don't really know if I can run effectively. Oh, uh, here's the bathroom. Pretty sure the exit's not in the bathroom, but uh, hey, at least we're learning where everything is. Oh, both of the stalls are inaccessible. Cool. How, how do I go back? Do I just... There you... Okay, there you go. Alright. Break room, backstage. Maybe the exit will be backstage. That would make sense. Oh, look at all these animatronic heads! I hope none of them just suddenly come to life and attack me. Okay, it doesn't look like an exit's in here. Alright, let's go back. <gasps> oh, I picked up a plushie! Okay! Okay! So that was something I had to do for some reason. 
<gasps> the exit! Oh, I found the exit! Looks like a mine shaft, but I found the exit. Kind of. Can't really escape, can I? Is there something behind me? Night one complete? You are pulled back to safety by a floating, featureless figure standing before you with its eyes locked on your pale face. It looks like it wants to help you recover your lost memories. The shadow offers you a story to clear your head. Will you accept? Yes? I don't, I don't see why I wouldn't. Hello. Are you the puppet? There once was a little kid who liked to play with his toys by his lonesome. Uh oh. Okay. He lived with his family on a small peaceful house outside of town surrounded by forestry. The home's backyard was his personal stage where he played with his figurines of various shapes and sizes, making plays which were acted out for his enjoyment alone. Although he was alone, he was content in living out his youth playing with the plastic friends his parents had gifted him with. They were a small mannequin, a stuffed toy bear, teddy bear, a porcelain dress-up doll, and a toy robot. Okay. Oh, there's more. But one day, the family's pet dog stole one of the toys during his playtime. Into the woods, he excitedly ran away with the toy robot, prompting the kid to chase after him and reclaim his friend. Annoyed by the dog's playful attitude, the kid caught up. Grabbing the toy from the thief's mouth, he began to pull. Oh, to be young and carefree. A kid and his dog playing tug-of-war in the back garden of their house with no one to interrupt them. Seems like a wonderful memory, doesn't it? The dog, excited to finally receive the attention it craved from the young master of the house, refused to lose this game that they found themselves playing. The toy robot was almost free from the dog's mouth when... Okay, that's... That, why? That was a bad story to tell me! Oh, it's still going! Ah. Relieved to have gotten his friend back, the kid wiped off the pool of drool off the toy robot with the bottom of his shirt. He walked back home, leaving the animal twitching helplessly on the grass with barely enough room left in its swollen neck to let out a pitiful dry howl. The kid arriving back from out the trees positioned the toy robot back where it was on his makeshift stage and continued playing. Stop! I don't want to listen to the story anymore! I, like, I've had it! Later that afternoon, the parents found the body of the dog. They buried it where it stood. Or where it lay, rather. Oh my, that wonderful story! 10 out of 10! Never tell me that again! No explanation. Okay, I, I'm assuming that the kid is like... The, the kid could be the purple guy. He could be the murderer. And that's why his face was blurred out, you know? I don't, I don't know. I'm sure the... I'm sure the mysteries of this game will reveal itself very soon. Let's, 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 let's take care of night two. What a terrible story. Oh, okay, we're, we're back. Each night your enemies become more aggressive. A new presence has appeared in the restaurant. It hides in rooms waiting for you to pass by. Be careful of where you are going. Hold right click on an open path to listen to sounds coming from adjacent rooms. The more time passes, the better you'll hear. So holding right click on an open path to listen. Okay. Wonderful. All right. What's what's my objective? Follow the music. All right. You hear that? You hear those sounds? That's definitely not music, so 
I shouldn't be following those sounds. Alright, where... Where am I going? Alright, so right-click on a path to listen. Oh, hear music this way! I'm gonna go that way! Alright, oh! Okay, I'm gonna listen over here. Happy music playing! I love it! Let's continue to go that direction. I just don't want anything to appear in front of me. I'm gonna listen a little bit more. Yeah, we're going the right way, baby. Are we following the puppet? The puppet seems like our friend. Ooh. <laughs> okay, alright. Gosh, you know? You know? Okay, that... That was... That was... Maybe the scariest jump scare that I that I have experienced in a very long time. What the actual hell was that, Bonnie? That came out of freaking nowhere. With how slow paced this game has been going, you don't expect a jump scare like that. Bonnie and Chica can only be heard if you right click on a path to the room they are in, or if they've come to your room. Okay, so the question is, what do they sound like? Hello. Okay, I hear music over there, so I'm gonna follow the music. There's still music over there, so I'm gonna follow the music! I'm gonna listen. Okay, what if I listen over here? Hello? Oh, I'm gonna go that way. Don't kill me! Don't kill me. <gasps> what? Is this where I'm supposed to be? I don't hear the music anymore. Hello? You see, I hear sounds other than the music. I just don't know if that's Bonnie and Chica. Oh, God. Oh, God. Trying to listen for music. Okay, so I gotta go back this direction. I might die. Are they behind me? Have they been following me? Okay, I'll go this way. God, I am so... I'm so over this game. I'm really over it. Are you in the bathroom? Why would you be in the bathroom? <laughs> Hello? I'm really confused as to what's going on. <gasps> no, that's gotta definitely be someone. Right? Am I- am I screwed? I can't- I'm- I'm trapped in the bathroom. Hello? See, that sounds like horrifying groaning. Like, I feel like if I go out there, I'm gonna die. But there's nothing here. Oh, employees only? No. Doesn't seem like I can go into the employee's room. I don't hear the groaning anymore. <laughs> I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this anymore. I really don't. I really, I really don't. I really don't, but I will, but I really don't. Because holy crap. Wow. Bonnie moves around the perimeter of the main restaurant room. Move to the center of the area to avoid his path. Okay, excellent to know. But I'm not sure where the music's supposed to be leading me. Okay. It looks like I have to go to different locations around the restaurant where the music is. 
Okay, so... Alright, so the music kind of teleports. Gotcha. Okay! I think that was a shadow, Bonnie. Don't want any of that. Okay. That's the direction I need to go, but Bonnie's over there, so I'm gonna go... Oh, I don't want to go that way! I'm alive, though. So that's cool. Thought I was gonna die to Shadow Bonnie. Okay, alright. We're okay? We're fine? Cool. We're... We're fine. There's the music. Found it again. I don't hear Bonnie. We're going this way. We're going this way. See, I'm getting the hang of the game, baby. Let's go. Yeah, going over here. Going over here. Here we go. There we go, Bonnie. Yeah, over here. Go. Backstage? Oh, the music. Oh, break room? No, the music's just kind of gone. Okay. Oh, nope, nope, over here. I don't hear Bonnie. So I'm pretty sure I didn't hear Bonnie. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. All right, all right. Getting kind of nervous here. All right, cool. This was a location. Now to find the music again. I'm very close to the next music point. Backstage? That sounds right. That sounds correct. Yes! There you go. Beat Night 2. Is the puppet behind me? Puppet? Oh. The puppet was behind me at the end of night one, but either way. Ha ha! Night two complete! Let's go! You were pulled back again to safety as the sounds of the untuned music box wind down. The shadow offers another story as a reward for completing your task. Will you accept? I really want to say no. Alright, let's get this stupid story over with. It's gonna be terrible! It's gonna be horrific! It's gonna make me feel bad! Hi, you're a little closer than last time. You wanna back up a little bit? Jeez. This story I tell you is a true story that I pray you never forget. Exclamation mark. There once was a boy who laid awake at night during a harsh downpour. Beneath the covers of his bed, he closed his eyes and tried to ignore the storm just outside his room. Enveloped in darkness, a sensation of creeping discomfort felt him from falling asleep. Oh, kept him! Not felt him! That's... that's kind of weird. The roars of the storm were nothing compared to the restlessness that the shadows cast from the window gave him. He felt his eyes watching him from afar. The boy opened his eyes and looked towards the window. But nothing was there. He tried to go back to sleep. Here we go. He opened his eyes again, and out of the corner of his eye, he spotted it. The hollow, white eyes of a living shadow. It appeared just as quickly as it went away. His, uneasy, uh, his uneasiness pushed to the side by growing curiosity. The boy got up from his bed and approached the window. From out the glass, he could see it. The silhouette of an animal, darker than the night around it, and void of color even when light struck its frame, running off into the trees with a familiar object stuck in its mouth. Oh, see, it's the dog. See, the dog came back, and he's like, why? Why'd you do that? His favorite toy stolen again, being carried towards the forest. The boy couldn't help but follow along the shadow's path.
The night air was freezing! Freezing winds carrying countless droplets that hit the skin like marbles. Their impact deafening any other uh, any other sound other than the impo uh, imposing thunder. Sorry, I'm tripping over my words. I apologize. Call it premonition, but he knew where the shadow had gone to. That place at the edge of the forest where he had last left the family dog. He was sure he would find it. Standing in front of the grave once more. The eyes from the shadow had gone away. In its steed, the twice-stolen toy robot now lay on top of the muddy mount. But this time, it was moving. Its tiny plastic arms flailing violently from side to side, its head rotating in place. The movements were sudden but clear, unprompted by any outside influence. A spark of life was trapped inside this tiny vessel. Fascinated by such discovery, he picked up the toy from the ground and held it tightly with both of his hands to prevent it from escaping his grasp. Smiling from ear to ear, the boy headed back home. Why are you smiling? That's, that's not appropriate behavior. It's not normal behavior. It's not... Oh, three nights remaining. Oh my god. Wow! A shadow over Freddy's. My god, what an interesting concept for a game. I love the kind of noir feel. I I find the point and click style very interesting. And it really draws you in really close and then hits you with one hell of a jump scare. My god, this this is this is going to be an interesting game to complete, but we're going to end the video here just because I'm a little out of time recording right now, but I will return to this game as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click on the end cards at the end of this video. Also, be sure that you are subscribed to me so you can stay up to date with all the other videos that I'll be posting soon. Until the next video, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.